the things that you don't like about life, your life or your judgments, your criticisms about life, what if these were actually gifts? Because they absolutely can be. If you use them to go inside and see what they bring up in you. And before you go too much into the story and trying to fix it and all of that, can you just create space to feel the emotions? This is the key. Can you just notice the physical sensations that's coming up? Most of us will try to control the situation by like, oh, maybe if I just do the perfect morning routine or maybe if I get the job that I'm wanting or, you know, I get new clients or, you know, maybe if I read this book and do this new, like, new habit or maybe if I get a partner, like, we have, if I do this, then it'll be better, then I'll feel better. But you're just running around in circles and all you're needing to do is just be the answer. Rather than trying to look for the answer and get it, just be the witness. Imagining like it's your inner child who is just wanting to be seen and held and embraced. Can you just hold it? Even if it's shame, even if it's failure, and you just think like, I totally bombed that sales pitch or that meeting or whatever. Like it just, you know, can you just like hold space for that without trying to change it and, you know, overcompensate or talk yourself out of it. Just be there. So instead of trying to avoid the bad feeling or the circumstance that arises, you want to just be with it. Now, the fear that most people have is that it's going to consume you. I know, especially when it comes to something like anxiety, it's like, if I go into this, it's just gonna snowball and snowball and grow and go crazy. But, you know, if you actually fully give yourself permission to feel an emotion, it doesn't last more than 90 seconds. Like if you really actually go into it, it will shift really, really fast, often within like 10 seconds. But if, if it's when you're fighting against it and you don't want to feel it, that it just gets buried deeper into your subconscious and you try to numb it and mask it with things. And then it comes up and there's the pressure and the tension in that internal war. When we really get down to it, every emotion comes from a thought. So the only thing you're afraid of is a thought. You're afraid of facing and feeling the resistance that you have to a thought. I don't want to feel like a failure. I don't want to feel shame. But if you're not willing to let yourself feel it, you can't change it. It's basically like, let's say you're lost in a forest and you have a map, but you have no idea where you are on the map. So the map is basically useless. You can't, you don't you have no idea how you're gonna get out of the forest. But if you have the map and you know where you are, then you can use the map. So if you're not willing to feel what you're feeling and where you are, it's hard to move from anywhere, like to be able to get out of it or change it into anything because you're not first acknowledging where you are. So at this stage, I recommend some kind of somatic experience and you can just sit and breathe and feel. There's many different ways that you can experience and move energy and feel emotion and let it move through your body, through making sounds, through physical movements. I have lots of other videos on this channel for you to check that out. Um, one especially that I recommend is taking a pillow and screaming into the pillow and punching into the pillow. And so it's just the raw emotion. You're letting it be felt, you're letting it be expressed. Um, so, so powerful. I have used that so many times. And like the first time I heard of that was probably like four years ago. And then, I mean, I used it so much and it helped tremendously. And I find that my clients at first, when I recommend this, the first time or even the second time they try to do it, they feel so uncomfortable. They don't want to make noise. If they have roommates, they're so afraid of being heard or even if they have a partner. But honestly, it's so worth it. Go sit in a closet. I used to love doing it in a closet at, like as an adult, just because when I was a kid, I loved sitting and hiding in the closet. It made me feel really safe. So you can like go and you scream into the pillow anyway. So it's not that loud, but it's just 
your voice and it's so powerful to make sound so you can do toning you can sing anything that will help to move the energy through the somatic experiencing and processing a lot of the emotion will subside and sometimes that's all you need is just to be able to feel it and release it and let it go no story needed no explanation needed just presence and witnessing and feeling and releasing now if you have some deeper rooted issues that are there for you to learn and grow which is very very common especially with major themes and things that we've been struggling with even though we feel like we've already dealt with this or worked on it like why does this one thing keep coming up or maybe it's more than one thing but if it keeps coming up chances are there's something in it for you to learn. When there's something unresolved within us, it creates like an open trauma loop. When we get into explosive arguments with people, we're like, what the heck? Why was I so irrationally emotional? Or you just feel frozen in fear, like you're afraid to express yourself or to you know, create something that you really want to and move forward in life, like creating a business and quitting your job. Or you know, if you just feel frozen or you procrastinate, a lot of times that's because there's something unresolved. So this is where it's really, really useful to understand what are the opinions and the beliefs that you have in your subconscious that is triggering this emotional you know, outburst or just any kind of emotion or anxiety or even the numbness or the fear of moving forward, whatever is going on for you. There's an opinion and a thought at the very root of that that allows it to stay alive, hidden, but alive in your life. I think it's time to tune up my phone. It keeps dropping in the middle of recording. <laughs> There's one more thing I wanted to share with you, which is that excavating the subconscious mind is a lot easier when you have an expert helping you. I don't know how many times I've struggled on my own to get some clarity, definitely. Um, but just generally, if this is just me, it's my preference. I really love having the support. Uh, sometimes I do like to just figure things out on my own and I'll usually do that through writing or meditation. But when I'm stuck on something, I really love to have my mentor or my best friend or somebody to hold space for me and help me to, you know, to reflect to me what they're seeing and to ask really powerful questions that allows me to see what's really going on for myself. It's like, oh, it's so much easier, so much easier, not to mention, you know, less lonely. So if you're struggling with something and you'd like support, come to thelivingnarrative.com. I will put the link in the description below. We have, um, different group programs throughout the year and if you feel ready for a quantum leap then you can book a session with me and you will experience profound insight and results just after the first session by learning how to embrace my shadow has allowed me to get tremendous insight about my life and has allowed me to let go of these patterns that i I've now been able to notice that my parents had and my grandparents had, and I don't know how far back it goes, but this poverty and bad relationships, like toxic relationships that plagued me for over a decade that's been passed on for generations. I've been able to heal that in my life and to finally break free from that and to not be run by these unconscious patterns and fears. I have literally brought more light and woken up in those areas that I couldn't see clearly and I'm now able to make conscious choices for myself in those areas of my life. And I'm always learning. There's always so much to learn. It's so beautiful. The journey is beautiful. There's always ways to grow and things to learn. And if you have nothing left to learn, you literally don't need to be here. So, <laughs> 
it's just a part of the journey. The more you can embrace it, the easier it is to embrace your shadow. The more fun you have, the more it's like not a big deal if you fail or if you look like an ass or like if you have toilet paper stuck to you or like whatever, like, you know, you just stop giving fucks about what other people think because we're all in this crazy journey of learning and growing. And when you can really embrace, you get to write the story of your life. You get to define what success is for you. And if you want to be a hot mess sometimes because it helps you get into, you know, the recesses of your mind so you can do some healing and just be there and be okay with it, like, that's the ultimate freedom. My happiness, my inner peace, it didn't just come from being positive and saying affirmations and the perfect morning routine. It came from dissecting everything that I hated and learning that I love it. <laughs> like I said in the last video, we're just a collection of opinions and beliefs walking around like zombies until we learn how to go in and feel your original you underneath it all. Your light will shine as bright as you are willing to face your darkness, shadow included. That's all for today, folks. Oh dear. Um, thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I love hearing from you, reading your stories, hearing your questions. And I also really love when you share your perspectives, especially when they're different. So welcome here. I love how kind and loving everybody is. Subscribe, hit the bell button if you'd like to be notified when I post a video. I'm gonna be sharing some videos coming up about the collective unconscious that is being revealed through this pandemic. So should be good stuff. Um, definitely controversial things, but you know, I just, just gonna go into it and explore, you know? It's just fun. It's beautiful when we really give ourselves and each other the space to explore these things without like attacking. And I really love that about uh, the community on this channel. So thanks so much for being so supportive and I will see you in the next video.